Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com and welcome to my Audacity podcast tutorial. If you're creating an online radio show, podcast, radio imaging, or simply want to make your voice sound different, you must get hold of my Audacity presets. Head over to mrc.fm forward slash presets. Go and get them now at mrc.fm forward slash presets. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. Let's get stuck in and find out how to quickly edit a podcast in Audacity. Some tips you need to know. So I'm starting off with a completely blank Audacity window. Make sure when you're recording for the first time, you set up your audio interfaces up here at the top. Uh, for me on my PC, I've got a Focusrite audio interface with my mic plugged in as the input. And on the line out, I've got a Rode audio interface that I have my headphones plugged into with stereo recording, of course. You can change that to mono if it's a speech-only podcast and hit record. Hello and welcome to my podcast episode. I am really excited to do some editing and make this sound great. Okay, so there's a basic recording of a podcast that I've created now in Audacity, but you might want to go further than that. You might want to go further than recording your own thing. You might want to edit someone else's podcast. And often what people do is they record two separate tracks. I'm dragging and dropping these audio files onto Audacity now, and it's going to bring them into their own separate tracks where I can do some mixing of this podcast. There's track number one, and track number two is now coming in. It's about a 60-minute podcast in duration, Take a look at that. F4 to get my zoom tool, which is up here, this one here. And then I can zoom right in on wherever I want to, maybe the start of this podcast, and start to play some audio back. Let's hit F1 to get the selection tool and play from about here. Guest ever, actually, because you, you've been racking them up, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, we have. Now, you can see on this podcast, it's not quite in sync. So I'm going to use this move tool, this time shift tool, F5 to get that on. And I can move that into the right place to make it sound better. Actually, because you, you've been racking them up, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, we have. So you can hear now I've got the host track in sync with the guest track. But listen here. Guest ever, whoop. actually, because you... She went whoop there. And I might want to get rid of that. Really easy to do. Selection tool highlight that bit I want to get rid of, and then we will go along in the menus to find exactly what we need. Generate is what we need. Silence. Click OK. Boom. It's gone. Guest ever, actually, because you, you've been racking them up, haven't you? Yeah. And we can do the same for this little area and any area where we shouldn't hear anything from the other speaker. We can just go in, generate silence, OK to it, boom. And it tidies things up nicely. We can obviously go through the whole of the podcast by zooming out and do the same for each track until we get somewhere satisfactory. Make sure to like this video. You want to see more like this, then subscribe to the channel and ding the bell so you never miss another video from me. And then we might go ahead and do some other bits on here. For instance, uh, we might add on a compressor to the first track just to level out the audio. And again, we'd kind of select everything here. Effect, compressor. I like to leave these as default. I find minus 20, three to one ratio and everything else the same. Kind of gives a nice little boost to the audio. It's going to take some time because there's an hour's worth of audio that it's applying the compressor to. But when that happens, you'll see that the host's track is leveled out quite nicely. And you can see the guest audio is already quite nicely compressed. All of the waveform is a consistent volume, really. So we're doing quite well there. And look, now with that compressor, this is good. Probably means we could actually increase the volume on this a smidge. So I'm going to go to effect, amplify, maybe bring it up by a few dB, maybe about 3 dB. Make sure allow clipping isn't ticked because then it won't allow you to clip your audio. There we go. You see, it wouldn't allow me to go too high with my amplify. Otherwise, I would clip part of that track. So quite an intelligent amplify there. Uh, we can do it like that. Or I prefer the envelope tool up here because this really allows me to visually see how much I'm boosting the track by. And now we can play this back. Best ever, actually, because you, you've been Watch the level meters, up, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, we have. Um, but that's pretty cool. I didn't And you know can that. probably so see like she's a little bit loud there. So I might just turn that down ever so slightly until we get a decent level. Now, the next thing I'm going to want to do is maybe bring in a piece of music to start off this podcast episode. Let's drag and drop that music track. This comes from one of our production libraries, mrc.fm forward slash sfx, to check them out. 
And now you'll see with the zoom tool, I can get right in and the start of this podcast. Uh, and let's go actually out a little bit and just in right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go ahead and drag these files out just a tiny bit until we get to a good place and play this audio. And now to introduce today's special guest. And I could probably do with slipping this along a little bit more. There we go. See, they stay in sync there. And now to introduce today's special guest, Michelle Point. Okay, so we've got some good stuff going on there, but uh, the music bed's a bit too loud. I'm going to first of all go ahead and select the whole of my music bed, and I'm going to go to Effect, Amplify, turn it down a few dB, so it's a little bit quieter. Let's play that back now. And now to introduce today's special guest. Okay, we're getting there, but there's another cool tool. And for this, I need to move the music bed to the top. I've just dragged that track up to the top. And then I can go to Effect, Auto Duck, and I can run this and look, it auto ducks the music with the host's speech. Absolutely fantastic. And now to introduce today's special guest. Michelle Pointer is the founder of... There we go, sounding really, really good. And finally, I might want to select the rest of this and then fade out. I can use the envelope tool to do this. Just place a few keyframes on here and fade the music slowly down until it's completely faded out using that envelope tool. So a great way to mix two separate tracks. You also learn how to record and set up your audio interface and how to level the track so they're the same volume. Use a bit of a compressor to get everything sounding equal and even mix in music and fade it down as the host comes in. A really good basic introduction to podcast editing in Audacity. Do you have any questions for me? Let me know in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials just like this one. Check out my Audacity Ultimate Course for Beginners. If you are a podcaster, YouTuber, voiceover artist, or audio editor, you need this course. Head over to mrc.fm slash audacity. That is mrc.fm slash audacity. Creative.